الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد قال امام من سنن ابن ماجه قال حدثنا محمد بن عبد الله ابن نمير قال حدثنا عفان قال حدثنا شعبة عن أعمش قال حدثنا وحدثنا هشام ابن عمار قال حدثنا عيسى ابن يونس قال حدثنا أعمش عن أبي وائل عن عبد الله قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سباب مسلم فصوك وكتاله كفر The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Verbally abusing a Muslim is immorality and fighting him is disbelief Ahabatifillah This has to do with the issue of Iman and that from Iman is loving your brothers and sisters in Islam Loving the Mu'mineen. And from Iman, as the Prophet وسلم, said, La yu'minu ahadakum hatta yuhibbu li akhihi ma yuhibbu li nafsi. The Prophet وسلم, said, One of you does not truly believe until he loves for his brother what he loves for himself. This is true Iman. To want good for someone, even if you don't receive that good. Wanting good for them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as you want good for yourself. That's from Iman. That's faith. Where those amur dunyawiya, those, those, uh, those issues of this worldly life don't distort that that love that's Iman where you're not concerned about him getting that car because you're going to ride in it or because of some other reason but rather you do that out of Iman you want good for your brother you want good for your sister to, for her to be able to have this beneficial object or relationship or what have you whatever is from good that's Iman the opposite of that is what the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in that hadith that cursing a Muslim is sinfulness is fist is wickedness that's why we keep emphasizing this tongue because as the Prophet وسلم, said what will bring you more into the hellfire than this and in a hadith the Prophet وسلم, said when Allah Verily Allah hates the one who is who is wicked and and and, and uh, transgressing on their tongue. So, being cautious about cursing anyone. And you find safety in that. Likewise, and even to another, an, another level, is fighting your brother or your sister. And the Prophet ﷺ described this as kufr, a type of disbelief. And 
many of the ulama say that this is not the disbelief that is major that takes you out of the fold of Islam, but rather this is the minor dis disbelief and this is a type of, uh, this negates your complete Iman and that it is uh, a sin that it is something sinful and wicked and that is from the bab of wa'id you know the, the bab of punishments the, that the threat of punishment that Allah is showing us how serious it is to fight your brother and sister in faith so it lets us know, Ahabatifillah, the dangers about speaking ill of other people. Just be cautious. Guard your tongue. And you'll find safety in that. But the looser you are with your tongue, the more readily you are to speak about someone, even if they're from Ahl Bid'ah. If there's no benefit, Sharia, Shar'i, to speak about that individual, don't. I don't spend all of my time, just as an example, getting up and going to bed and all the time in between, speaking about certain individuals who I believe are from Ahl Bidah, who are clearly Mubtadiyah, or even from Ahl Kufr, or Zandaq. No, because there's no benefit. But if there's a benefit, a Sharia benefit, Part of the object, objective of warning the community, someone is unaware, but just to sit and have gatherings of backbiting and just to spread tales in the community, this is from sinfulness, this is wickedness. And perhaps your sin will be greater than the one who's done those mistakes or has fallen into bid'ah. So you want to be cautious because from one of the punishments of the grave as is mentioned in an authentic hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam marra nabi marra nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala qabarain the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was walking by two graves faqal and he said innahuma li yu'adhiban wa la yu'adhiban fi kabir Barely they're being punished and they're not being punished for something which the people consider great. As for the first one, or as for one of them, he used to not be cautious when urinating, you know, to clean himself. Either covering himself properly or in splashing on his garment. Can a, لا يستر من البول وما آخر and as for the other one فكان يمشي بالنميمة then this one used to spread tales in the community in order to spread wickedness and this is exactly what happens with some of our brothers and sisters that maybe they're not happy enough in their own lives maybe they're not happy enough with their own level of deen maybe they need to be a part of a, a his you know they need to join his bia be a part of his bia, be a part of a group, be a part of people who think they're guard, guided, but in fact misguide. So what they do is they sit in circles and they think, how can I lie about this one? Or I heard this about this one. Let's get it spread. So then all over the world, from the east to the west, you have people spreading tales. And just think about the sin that you, if you're the original spreader of that tale, the sins you've gained when now thousands of people are engaged who don't know you, don't know where it came from, don't know the individual spoken about, don't have any clue, but it just went around like fire on dry wood. And think about the sin you've, you've, you've achieved. Because sometimes we think that Namima, as the Prophet والسلام, said in that hadith, that they're being punished 
letting us know what? Also affirming for us that there's punishment in the grave. And, it, and they're being punished for something which they don't perceive to be great. They don't think it's a big deal. You think, oh, you know, I'm just going to speak about so-and-so. Man, so-and-so is like this. So-and-so is a hisbi. So-and-so supports Sheikh so-and-so. So-and-so, uh, which may not even be true. But you said it so easily on your tongue. And you spread it. And now it's spread on other parts of the planet. Especially now, with all of the, with the internet. And all the various types of social media. What a great danger. What a great trial. What a great test this is for our tongues. And how we speak. And our manners. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all for our many, many sins and mistakes about speaking about individuals. And I can think of countless examples. And I'm going to relate one where a particular individual who should be, Min Baba Ola should be one of the people who are careful about this. This brother was a student of knowledge who was going to graduate from Kuliyat to Hadith. This was in Medina. And... I knew him from the Durus and I knew he was Salafi, one of our brothers. And once, I, I think he didn't have a car and he asked me for a ride home. Because we also lived in the same neighborhood. So we we're at the same Dars and probably with Sheikh Suleiman or Rahedi, if I recall. Because, and I'm almost sure it was, because it was at a particular masjid that he used to always teach. He and Sheikh Ibrahim Rahedi and some of the other ulama in this masjid, Dhul uh, next to the Haram and I gave the brother a ride and I mentioned about a sheikh or somehow it came up in the conversation who is the sheikh of, of, of my sheikh who's very close to me who I call usually when I have questions because I have a strong relationship with him but it's his sheikh and I've met that sheikh before so I somehow his name got caught up and this brother from Kulita Hadith, surprising enough, who is, that is his bab, that is what he studies, that's his major, that's his tachassus. And he said, oh, Sheikh so-and-so, I think, I heard he has some issues. So I said, well, like what? He says, I don't know, but I heard. I said, subhanAllah, mashallah. So here, just think, he may have backbitten or at least spread some doubt about one person who may be from the Oli of Allah because they are an, from the scholars. Well-known scholars that Sheikh Salim bin Fuzan has written their introductions in their books and, and many other ulama and he studied with many ulama and is well-known. Many mashaykh are very close to him. Sheikh Ayad al-Shamri, Sheikh, Sheikh, my Sheikh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Saeed bin Halal, many other mashaykh of uh, uh, Salafiyya and the Sheikh is known. But it shows us the danger of not affirming what we hear and then speaking. May Allah forgive us all because we all are tainted by this in one way or another. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and bless us with a class with a bat and help us to come, become better servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.